Hey everybody, welcome back to Team Unboxing, and we're here today to compare the differences between KitKat 4.4 on the Moto X and the Droid Ultra. Both flagship Verizon wireless devices that would just recently received KitKat 4.4. So we're going to talk a little bit about how they're different, how they're the same. So let's kick it off. Moto X received KitKat. Uh, a lot of people were excited uh, to see that Verizon Wireless was the first carrier to get KitKat 4.4 to the Moto X. Um, and a lot of people were surprised with the similarities with KitKat 4.4 on the Moto X uh, as there are on the Nexus 5. Um, is it the, the, the same starting price? No. Um, but is it uh, a great um, device in hand, a uh, great reliable device and arguably probably one of the best devices of 2013. Um, arguably, yes. The Moto X uh, features the transparent uh, notification shade, tr transparent notification bar at the top, um, where the Droid Ultra does not. The Moto X features the white indicators, just like the Nexus 5. And the Droid Ultra does not. The Moto X features the new dialer. The Droid Ultra does not. At quick glance, you wouldn't actually think that the Droid Ultra got KitKat. But again, um, KitKat's only been released to a few devices, so it's up to carriers and uh, device OEMs to decide what changes are made and what changes stay the same. Uh, it may be that the Droid Ultra kept a lot the same uh, to, dis to differentiate itself from the Moto X, or it could also be to prevent uh, a lot of user uh, frustration with um, everything, not only from the color, uh, from these icons up here, but uh, you can't really see any now, but if you look closely, that Wi-Fi indicator has a little down arrow. It's coming and going, and you could probably get a little bit better detail here. Um, where you see the indicator here, it may come and go with arrows up and down. Um, you'll see that here in the quick toggle settings. See that? You see the arrow going up and down the Moto X, and you see how it's different from the Ultra. Now, when you're not in toggle mode, you do not see any arrows on the Moto X. You do see them on the Ultra. You don't see any right now, but uh, when any data comes and goes, you, uh, uploads or downloads, you do see, there it is right there, uh, the indicator showing there. Okay. So that's uh, that's one of the quick, that's one of the easiest things to, to see that are different. Um, aside from the dialer, um, you can see the contacts are similar and different. So the Moto X got the new contact layout and the Droid Ultra did not. Um, again, um, sticking with uh, the previous layout uh, from Jellybean. Um, email client, for those of you who do not use email, who do not, uh, who may use Yahoo, AOL, um, MSN Live, uh, Outlook.com, what have you, um, the email client that comes baked into the phones is again different between these two. It's very hard to, to believe that these two devices were released uh, very close to each other, and uh, relatively speaking, KitKat was released relatively uh, within the same time frame of each other, um, uh, within a few weeks, and to see all of these changes. So I like the fact that the email client on the Moto X follows the same design language as the Gmail. So you have these swipe to archive, swipe to delete, undo if you mistake, badge, check multi-select to move to folder, or just cancel that. This is our test account. Um, and no, you don't really have any of that here. Um, I know you can configure gesture settings in the email client uh, previous to KitKat uh, with this similar layout here. I haven't done so. Um, but this is the same design language that there was uh, in Jelly Bean and previous uh, iterations of Android on the Motorola devices. So. Uh, another thing that is different um, is the 
interesting amount. So these are both uh, uh, very similar phones on the surface. Um, but what's interesting is the amount of bloatware that one and the other comes with. Now I'm not sure if between Verizon, Motorola, Google, what have you, uh, that they're trying to keep, nah, I don't want to say a Nexus experience, but a very similar, uh, more vanilla Android experience on the Moto X. That's what uh, I would stand to believe. You do not have nearly the amount of bloatware on the Moto X as you do on the Ultra. So for example, what you have on the Ultra, Amazon, the entire suite of apps, the Amazon Store, the Kindle, Amazon MP3, their own app store, Audible's even baked in. You have none of that on the Moto X. Um, uh, IMDB, uh, for those movie buffs, uh, IMDB is built in. Ingress is built in uh, to the Ultra. Um, let's see what else we got. VZ Protect, um, Verizon Wireless Security, or uh, some type, subtype of Verizon Security application. Um, just a free and a subscription service. Um, and lastly, emergency alerts. Um, so those are all built in out of the box for the Ultra, and they're not on the Moto X. So um, that's uh, that's another big difference. Um, user experience, uh, very similar, aside from some of the, the, the few differentiating things that uh, the Ultra came out um, out of the gate, such as like Droid Zap and the command center you see up here. Um, uh, aside from those little subtle changes, uh, they're very much a lot alike. Um, when people ask me about these phones, I always have to uh, kind of explain that it's more about form factor. Um, are you looking for a more good in-hand pocketable phone? Uh, then I'm probably going to tell you the Moto X. It's a very ergonomic. Um, you get all the same features, speaker quality, call quality, camera quality um, in the Moto X. And uh, I think I observe a little bit better battery life. Uh, I've been using both these phones as my daily driver for some time now. And I think, honestly, even though the battery size is very much, very close in size, um, somewhere in the realm of about 2,000, just over 2,000 milliamps, I am getting consistently better battery life on the Moto X. And I'm not sure if it's because of the shape and they had to make that stacked battery design. Not really sure about that. Um, but that's it. Uh, so everything else is the same. Uh, Android KitKat 4.4 and... So, don't know why the Easter eggs are different on this, so, but they are. But there you have it, Android KitKat 4.4. And uh, we appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have any other questions, um, please drop us a line. Um, you can reach us uh, at Twitter, Instagram, um, and our YouTube channel here. So, thanks a lot. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next time.